recording? Day two. Hi, long awaited video. <laughs> Stop! That's funny. <laughs> Hey, is it recording? Does the mic work? I don't know. You tell me. This is Discussions 5. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's 5. But yeah, we're ready to go eat at Hakata Ikosha. Hakata Ikosha. And they just opened in February. Okay, so we're ordering now and everybody knows that I want to get the spices bath. So pretty much how we order is like we have this little sheet and then we just pretty much customize almost everything and then I have to put my like seat number down. I don't like the mushroom because I, it, for me it changes like how the soup tastes. I just don't like it. Okay, so I got the Godfire and then I got level 2 spicy. My taste is normal. My noodles are very hard and then green onion, yes. Okay. Yeah. Talk too much. I'm sick so I sound funny. <laughs> you always sound funny. I do not always sound funny. Here you go, my lady. Oh, snap. You get real chopsticks? <laughs> Yo, this place is lit. You got premium toppings? So, what are the premium toppings? The premium toppings is chashu and flavored egg. So, it's like three pieces of chashu and a flavored egg. That's it. Oh, that sounds good. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so I pretty much ordered what's called the Godfire, and it's like their spicy ramen. That's your fault. Your leg. Like. I know. I'm trying not to bend over. Anyway. You can bend over like this. Have you ever watched any of the Korean dramas? They're like, oh, chi My mom talks about that. She's like, if you're in Filipinos, bend over, you have to do this. I got the noodles hard because I like them. Actually, I got them very hard. I like them hard because they cook still while you're eating them because the soup's really hot. So why did we pick this place today? Because it's actually really good. So this place actually just opened. Yeah. And, and the thing is, wait, let me say it. And the thing is, the places around here already are notoriously good. For example, Daikokuya has like the longest line if you've ever been to Little Tokyo just because it's right next to all of these places. Professional food? Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, Thank you! Going, so live, nah, yeah. we don't do live, dude. Because the live is like so much more work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, if you guys have ever been to Daikokuya, or if you guys have ever been to Little Tokyo, if you go to Daikokuya and you go to Monzo, you see long lines, right? They have like some of the longest lines. That's because that place is established. Everybody knows that that place is good. You go to Shinsengumi, they have long lines. That place is also really good. And I just, I want to come to Hakata because this place is just as good. It just doesn't have the reputation yet because there's not a lot of people that'll come in here. They're like, why am I going to go to this place when I can just go to the other ones, you know? So that's why we're here. Because we tried it and it's like actually good, so we have to put it on camera so that everybody knows. Yeah, so we're pretty much here for you guys. For me, I mean, yeah, you guys. And it, you know, like in reality, it'll also help like spread the line. <laughs> they all want to go to these places because they've already been there and they're already familiar with the taste. And they're like, yeah, but for ramen, I don't know if I should go there because you know, who knows what it's gonna taste like, and I might be disappointed. Blah blah blah. But that's what we're here for. Try food for you, except if I'm allergic to it. She's the picky one, by the way, not me. That's because I'm allergic to a lot of things. So I got the tonkotsu regular last time. It was really good. Man, this is like a conversation starter. Like, imagine filling this up for work. Like, like. She just ruined it, by the way. That's so annoying. <sighs> and then you imagine cool. like customers like messing it up, and then it's just like. But it's cool. I think it's cool. So I got the tonkotsu black and the description says a combination of delicate garlic flavors with a mild sweetness. I think it's like black miso with garlic paste, something like that. They also have it at, um, like, what's that place? Uh, at Americana on the second floor? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. They also have like a black miso ramen. But I didn't try it there because they have ground beef in their ramen. It's I weird. used to like that kind of a thing. It's a weird. How are we supposed to get ground beef? with chopsticks. Dude, I'm honestly like so rusty, like filming right now. I'm like, where's my energy? It's on you. Thank you. Thank you. It's on you. <laughs> Is it a mosquito? Kill it. That was excessively hard. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to get away. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is what you need, man. People. 
this is the most important. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to try the ramen first. This isn't daikokuya. Freaking daikokuya. Put as much ginger as you can. I don't like Put as much ginger as you can. I don't like daikokuya. Why? Oh, I'm gonna get some hate mail now. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. Um, the first time we came here, I think I was really hungry. Really? And I think that's why it was really good. It is really good. Okay, it is really good. And it's like its own it's its own spin it's its own spin on ramen. It's its own thing. But like for classic ramen and for like cravings, I would not crave this place, unfortunately. My favorite right now has been Sujita and also Shinsengumi is like it's a classic like going home to grandma's restaurant where it's like yeah there are other places that are like really good and but going back to Shinsengumi it's like it's never a disappointment and it's it's like a home feel restaurant. This place I would say it's like they're trying really hard to be different because there's so many ramen places around here. Like I can't really describe it to you. Like I, I can't say this is like Daikokuya, this is like this, this is like that. I mean sure there's similarities but but it's it has a really rich broth. They're really good at customizing their own ramen. They're really good their noodles are really good. I'm not disappointed with the noodles. But I don't think they did a good job with integrating all of the ingredients together. I feel like Eating spicy ramen. And it's room for improvement. Yes, most definitely. Mm. See, look. I ordered very hard noodles. And they're already like fully cooked now. They're not soft. Okay, have you heard it? Mm. So, God, seven. I'm having a contract here. Yes, I know. Yeah. Will you like a fan or something? Very embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, calm down now. We're fun bro. We're so rusty on this video. I apologize if this is so bad. I'm trying to get to talk you know about what? things. No, but you know what? Like every single time, I'm like, I'm like when I'm editing, I'm like, man, this video is so bad. Like I'm, we don't even have any content. Blah blah blah. And then I look back, and I'm like, hey, we actually weren't that bad. Like. We always bring a little bit of ourselves, like no matter what, you know? I would say milk and tea. And then it's like a self-serve book bar and I got the pineberry, which is pineapple, strawberry, and green tea. Then I just got my own bubble and it is pretty much a lot, but I'm fine with that. This is okay. I like it. The bowl is good. I was a little disappointed only because it's like there's a certain level where you're just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like food. And with ramen, like since I've been to so many places and I've tried a lot of ramen and I love it so much. Like I think my like level of yes is a little bit higher. But so if you're just looking for a regular ramen place, I think it's fine. You know, it's a little different and it's a it's okay. But yeah, um you're making me lose my train of thought. Train of thought? So basically what she's saying is that because we've tried so many ramen and we've gone to so many ramen places, we're expecting a lot from the places that are trying to compete with it, especially at the same price level and it's essentially selling the same thing with the same ingredient, like that kind of taste, where it's like, man, this is what I was looking for. I still stand by what I said. It's really solid ramen and it's definitely something that people can check out, you know. And the only reason we're like that is because she's a picky eater and she's looking for something very particular. And I'm... Well, I am, I'm a weirdo. Not necessarily. But it, it's kind of like I mean, that. yeah, you're a weirdo, but I'm not a picky eater. Okay. Well, you get what I mean, where it's kind of like, she's looking for something very particular. No! 
said she's disagreeing. Let her explain. I'm not looking for something particular. Like, some of these places that I like, they're all really different. Like, Sudhita is different. It brings its own thing on the table. It's like... But you're looking for that hit factor. It passes, like it's just so good. And then, what do you mean? Like, Serpent ramen is the same thing too. And it's like different from Shibita. And it's different from the same gumi, but it's like so good. And she's like gumi. But we gotta it's remember too. that this is a new store. So. That's what I was gonna say. Like when Sujita first opened in Glendale Galleria, I mean, in Glendale at Americana, I did not like it. It was like chicken. Like the noodles were not good. They, I think they were just going through some cakes and like figuring stuff out because it was a brand new store. So I'm thinking like maybe look at the Ikosha. The Ikosha thing. Maybe since they're so new, they're only like two months old. Uh, maybe. Is it really February? Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said online. But yeah, since they're only two months old, I think we're still trying to figure it out. So based off of what we ate, expect, definitely expect it to get like a little bit busier. It's so good. As like a ramen lover and a ramen like... <laughs> no, it wasn't. wasn't. I'm a music connoisseur. That's something else. And as a, a ramen lover and as a person that eats, sleeps, breathes, thinks, whatever, ramen, I would say that... <laughs> it's like on my list of like Daiko Kuya and like, like it's it's good but it's not my favorite. And like Tatsu. Hey. You should love Tatsu. Yeah, and then it had real ramen. You're welcome. <laughs> Whatever. She was like Tatsu is like the best ramen. Well, I never said that. Tatsu is so good. I'm like Tatsu's alright. If anything that should be like the, the baseline. <laughs> Roman doesn't taste like katsu. Shout out to Junior. Don't be mean to Junior. They've established a brand name. They look very hard. Try not to offend people, but... You really don't like it there, huh? I don't like Junior, I'm sorry. Noodles, bad broth. I'm not trying to be okay. offensive, though. I'm just like, speaking my mind, complete opinions about these places, but... That's your go-to, then you do you. Who? You do you boo. Junya? That's like Junya is amazing. Brought a silver like ramen. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that place. That place is good. Like, it's on my bottom of favorites. But, but it's still better than Junya. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is better than Junya. But, <laughs> sorry. Um, silver like ramen, I would say they have really good meat. Like their um, pork is very good. Their chashu? Yeah, their chashu is so good. But the noodles are okay. The broth is okay. I think my least favorite part about some like ramen is the noodles. Like the noodles are not that good. I guess it's super important people owners don't understand the noodles. Because you're finally competing with things like Shinsengumi and Sujipo. Who have like the best noodles. Yeah, like once you try really good noodles like Sujipo and Shinsengumi, you'll go to these other places and you'll just be like, oh. Like Sujipo is hard to compete with because they change their noodles depending on what complements the soup better. So depending on what kind of soup you get, you get different kinds of noodles. Sujipo is so good, guys. Like, I told you, Sujipo has always been my number one. Yeah, but when they first opened, like I said, they weren't good. It was like so inconsistent, guys. The first time I tried su Sujipo in, uh, I don't remember where it is exactly, but I was like, damn, that's good noodles. And it's crazy because you don't think about, man, that's good soup. So like, no matter what kind of soup you put it in, that was you don't understand until you try it. Out of 10, I would give it today like a solid 7. Vegeta is my 9. Silver ramen is my 8. Silver like ramen is like a 7. Mm -hmm. Junya is like a 4. <laughs> I'd give Junya like a 3. Okay. It's edible. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> It's and then edible. Tatsu, I would say, is like a 7 too. You think so? I'd give Tatsu like a 5. Really? I think they're still good and different. Well, I think they're a 7 to me. They still, for me, hit that wow factor. <laughs> So Don't you just want to punch him? How much garlic do you put in tatsu in order to make it taste the way you want it to taste? Oh, okay. How much? I'll give you that. How much? No, these people don't understand like how much garlic I put. Um, that is one thing that I've noticed about like ramen places. The higher that I am on my zero to ten list, like my sweet as my nine, I don't have to 
too much to it. Like, it's just perfect the way it is. And then the lower you go, I have to do a lot to it. Like, tatsu, I have to put like a lot of garlic. I put so much garlic in that thing. <laughs> and, okay, the reason why I put a lot of garlic in Shinsengumi is not because the food is good, is bad, but because she likes it they give you so much garlic. And so I'm just like, okay, I can eat all of this. <laughs> is good the way it is. Yeah, because if you take that stuff and play it, it's still like really good. I brought friends over there and then they're like, this is really good guys. And I'm like, you've never had this? And like, they're usually like people that had like beef flavored ramen or like, you know, <laughs> not a bad thing, but it's not really ramen. And in its like traditional essence. So if you want to have good ramen, you should try traditional essence, traditionally first. And then you'll be like, Whoa. And then you can go ahead and branch out and try all these other stuff. As somebody whose main staple for sustenance is instant ramen, I can attest to that statement. <laughs> having instant ramen, having like real ramen is like night and day. So what do you think about milk and tea? It's cute. It's a really cool concept. I would have to try some of the milk and stuff. I think it's a cool place. The only reason I don't come in here often is because there's too many cool looking people in here. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not cool looking enough. You're never cool looking, honey. I think it was like a cool idea, like, oh, let's have a self-serve bubble bar. But other than that, it's okay. I'm not very special. I mean, we have to try everything first. Yeah. I think it's also the fact that I'm not very into, like, liquid bubble. I'm very into, like, the yeah. <laughs> order for us to completely judge it, we have to try the milk tea. Like, yeah. that's the staple in every book place. Yeah, that. That's so cool. Please subscribe and hit the notification yeah, button whenever we start over again. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> no, no, I got it again. Okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Um, thanks for being such great viewers. And then... <laughs> I didn't do anything with you. Again? Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and then hit the notifications button so you know whenever we make a new video. Um, we're still trying to work on like his personal videos. Like we wanted to like him playing games but I don't know how to edit it. And I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a camera over my shoulder while I play the video games. That way. No editing required. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> bye!